I'm Irene Wong. I'm a ballroom dancer for 14 years. I'm also a co-owner for a costume business called Dancewear Works. Uh, in this ballroom journey, I met so many people and I really believe that everyone can ballroom. So I'm going to interview a lot of different people to share their story, their journey. Hopefully you will be inspired by them and see that maybe you can ballroom too. I'm here for you. Hi, I'm Irene Wong. Uh, today I have this funny, happy guest, special guest with me, Nicole. Yes. Dr. Nicole. So I am going to uh, talk about her uh, dancing journey. So before we start, let me uh, ask you, uh, introduce yourself and let people know who you are. So I'm Nicole, Dr. Nicole Walton Trujillo. I live in the beautiful and amazing city of Las Vegas, Nevada and I've been dancing for about five years. I dance full-time with a partner in Vegas, as well as full-time with a partner here in New Jersey. Oh, wow, you have two partners. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. So this is the good you were talking about, a doctor in a dance it, world, and then you don't, you not look like a typical doctor to me. So you're funny and happy, I really love it. So, and tell me how you get started with the farm dancing? Um, honestly, I used to watch Dancing with the Stars like I was studying for a test, uh, even though I wasn't dancing, and I just loved it. And so I was living in Vegas, and I got a Facebook message about taking a free lesson at Dance With Me Studios in Vegas, and I thought, what the heck? Gave it a try when the studio opened about four or five years ago, and I've just loved it ever since. And I've had some amazing opportunities, met some incredible people. Uh, and my dance world has expanded past just my one little so, studio into um, studios here in, uh, in Jersey uh, with friends all over the United States and all over the world in the dance community. We are actually a very small community in a very big world and it's just, it's been amazing. That's wonderful. So for the five years, tell me that when you first started, now you're in the competition, right? Mm -hmm. When you first started, have you ever thought that you were going to compete? Um, I didn't think I was going to compete, but I learned when I started to dance that uh, back in the day, my grandfather was one of the original uh, dancers with Fred Astaire years ago, danced with him years ago in the Bay Area and in California. So when I found that out, I thought, well, you know, I wanted to, to kind of try to live some of those moments that he had. And so that's when I started competing and, and I just, I love it. It allows me to let my competitive nature out and be creative and just have a good time because if I'm on the dance floor or I'm training, I can't think about anything of my stressful world, my stressful life. And in those that one hour or that five hours or that uh, two or three day dance weekend, all I can think about is is it a heel lead? Is it a toe lead? Is it this kind of step or that kind of step? And oh yeah, what's my choreography? And what are we doing? And are we having fun? And that allows me to take a step from the stressors of my life and allow me to really enjoy just breathing. That is so good. So I'm just about to ask you what the benefit. You already say it, you know, all of that. Or do you have any more things? I'm um, working out. It's a great workout. I mean, I've lost like 75, 80 pounds in the last three or four years just by dancing. Whoa. And I'm not the skinniest and smallest girl on the dance floor, but I guarantee you I'm having more fun than they are. And <laughs> that's the most important um, thing. And, and the I would say the biggest benefit is my dance family, my dance community that I've made. Uh, just tonight, having dinner with dancers from six or seven different studios or independent dancers, and us still being able to all get together, share a meal, share a table, and just that camaraderie that's been everything for me. Today. That is wonderful. So for the people that haven't been in the dance world, so what were you going to say to them? There's no reason why you can't. I'm actually a hearing impaired dancer, uh, so I can't necessarily hear the music, but uh, even though I lost my hearing late in life, I remember music, I remember the joy of music, so there's really no good reason not to, because cares. Why not? Yeah, having fun. Go enjoy. have fun. Yeah, that's great. Everyone's been in the same boat that you're in, learning what they're doing. So have a good time. Just go play. I love that. Thank you so, so much, Nicole. So we're going to all have fun and come join and check it out, the ballroom dancing. So comment, like, subscribe, hang out with her channel, have a great time, and we'll see you on the dance floor.
Thank you so much. Of course. I hope you enjoy Nicole's story. It's very inspiring. So one of the questions I have after the interview is, you know, she is uh, list, uh, hearing impaired. How she dance? And she told me oh, how she communicate with people. She actually told me that um, she can read people's lips. So she does uh, lip reading. Uh, but in dancing, it's hard because she can't hear the music and there's no communication through lips. So she really is using the partner, the teachers, working with the teacher in the body. So that way, so she really learning the dance and uh, in a partnership. So ballroom dancing seems to be the best tool for her to be exercised, to be able to communicate in a great way and then understand the music and feel the music through the body. <laughs> like her story and if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe the channel and share her story with others i hope you'll be inspired and give the ballroom dancing a try you never know where it will take you keep on dancing <laughs>